Hello and welcome back to Luke Plays Cave Story Episode 4. The part where the depressing realization where I'm going to be playing this particular LP for the rest of my life has sunk in. Last time, I fought Igor and died exactly there. Do, 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 but not this time! Jump in. This guy does so much jumping and shooting, they should call him Mega Man. That's right. I made the reference, kind of. Now, there's one major difference between the soldier from the surface, which is the character. He has a name, but it's kind of spoilers to say it. Anyways, what was I even saying? I went ahead and did the drunk thing, by the way. In case it wasn't clear by now, didn't wait to even upload the episode, decided this... I just couldn't do this to myself. I'm not a sadist. Masochist. I'm not a masochist, so I had to do something to make this at least somewhat enjoyable for me. Since I'm not making money off of YouTube yet, I guess I'll just be an alcoholic. <sighs> and now I have nothing to say. Really, what is there to say about jumping and shooting? I'll save here, sure. Sup, Cthulhu? I hate you. You're literally never useful, but you still somehow find the nerve to sass the guy who's gonna save the fucking island. Can't stand him. Actually, no, what? Fuck. I hate Egg Corridor's music. It's so fucking repetitive, I, I'm just, ah. I'm still a little upset about hard mode being so fucking hard. By the way, in case that wasn't clear. Just, just a little miffed. Oh, he's there alright, Sue. And he is so lonely. Is mom with you? The door is. How the fuck do you have the same mother? She's a rabbit! Whatever, now we go to the next level of the game, Grasslands. Or Grassland. Grassland, I think. Or is it... Do they translate it to Bushlands? Well, that's stupid. It's called Grassland. You know what that was like? That's like that moment. When you're like... About to ask someone something really important on, like, Skype or MSN or some shit. Like, you're about to ask a girl out or whatever. And you're typing it out and you're trying to find the perfect way to phrase it. And then they just sign out with no warning. You're just sitting there with your pants down, like... Man, I should have been masturbating less. But... And that's King being a rapist. Do do do. Hey, dude with the finger gun. What are you doing here? 
to the turn. We put her in a cage. Great. That's... That's great. You're real good people. Up in Mundiga Village. You're, you're just... So good. Let me out of here now. SHUT UP! And that's King. Being a stand-up person. Rabbit. Hey, King. You know, she's speaking very reasonably for someone who is in a fucking cage. Also, her expression is just dead eyes. My brother Kazuma is stuck in an area called Bushlands. Bring him back here. And then, of course, my expression's just circle, circle, line. Bushlands now. Cool. Second level. Let's do this. Party! Bushlands is another very good song. All of them are good. Every single song in this game is amazing. This is Santa. He doesn't give presents, unfortunately. Oh, hey, fucking Cthulhu, what's up? You dingus. Chilling up here on this mountain? You're a soldier from the service? Has the war ended already? You already said I was a soldier from the service. Are you more than one person, maybe? I actually have no idea. It could just be like hundreds of Cthulhus. But it's never explicitly said, so I'm just speculating. <laughs> There's no way I'm not just going to be screaming and stressed all the time. Oh, did I not save? What? Say what? Whatever, whatever. At least I can take comfort in the knowledge that, at least of the three of us here, I will not be dead. In canon storyline. Them, however, no idea. No idea whatsoever. Ha 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 ha. Right, guys? Right? Right? This guy's also going to be perfectly fine. <coughs> Alright, Bushlands, let's go. <coughs> For real this time, now. Talk to Santa, then I'll not die. I'm not going to talk to Thula, though. Let's fuck that guy! Don't want your... Elder gods up in this bitch. I got enough elder rabbits to deal with. Elder rabbits, fuck. It's a teleporter! I love this game so much, everyone! It's just so fucking good! The problem is I genuinely believe this is one of the best games ever made, but I'm just gonna be angry the whole time. And that makes me ha unhappy. Only the dead can know peace from this evil. But 
Same Santa's key. Cool. Thanks. That's pretty rad. I'm glad I can at least take one hit. Because I'd be real, real, real upset if I had to do this entire game on never get hit or die. Oh, right. I'm instinctively thinking, hey, I should try and get up there. Because you know what's up in that corner there? By that big owl place? There's supposed to be a fucking health pick up there! Oh, fuck this game. Fuck. Oh. That's the key to my house. Here, fucking Santa, have your key. Merry Christmas! Isn't that ironic? He's like, all right, I'm gonna get laid finally. Why do you have deadly spikes in your house? Danger! This trap is instant death. Cool. Now you get your second weapon in the game, the fireball. It's okay, I guess. Level 1 is kind of shitty, like all weapons at level 1, but... You know, it, it has its purpose. It's good at that. It seems weird they'd introduce you a largely ground-based weapon in an area with exclusively flying enemies. But whatever, it's useful later. It's good if you can get them when they're not on the ground. As it gets stronger, it becomes a death machine. Just, just so much damage compared to the Polar Star at this point in the game. But, you know, eventually it just becomes utter shit, and it can't destroy blocks. So, there's that. So you got a Polar Star pack. Oh, that looks really safe. I should not jump over that. Kings of Power. Achievement Progress. I don't know what achievement that is. This is... Chaco? This is a shitty translation. It's, supposed to... it's an official translation, but it's terrible. I can't get past the fire. You wanna go through my fireplace? You're gonna need a bit of jellyfish juice. My question is, Chaco, how do you get jellyfish juice? That's supposed to be a joke about how she's probably a big slut for jellyfish. Though I don't quite understand how someone could be a slut for jellyfish. So just ignore I said anything. Just... I'm probably too lazy to do it myself, so just imagine that last minute or so was just edited out of this video. You missed nothing. Those of you who just walked away for that minute, don't rewind. If you're listening to this, just don't. It, it's just not worth it. Spikes are instant death. Facts. Alright, let's give them the fireball, then make them fight jellyfish! Flying enemies that never come anywhere close to where you'll be able to fireball them. Perfect! Pixel, you are a god amongst game designers. Oh, okay, cool. 